Hi, this is Amy here. Um, welcome back to my channel. Today, this is what I have to show you is the Kindergarten Crate November box. So this is the November box. I have one more box that I'm going to do um, for next year. And then I will have uh, enough to really continue doing. But I really love this box. If you're a new teacher um, starting out or an old one who just needs to refresh what they have, um, this is a great box to help you do it with. Um, so I highly recommend the Kindergarten Crate box. There's, it's packed full of stuff. And we're we're going to uh, see what's in it. They always send out a something just for the teachers. And so sometimes it's a t-shirt where and that they ask you your size um, when you sign up so they make sure that they give you the right size and sometimes it's other little treats so we're gonna open whoops open this box up and already I can see we get a treat treat so this is the box itself it's all packed with wonderful goodies um, and the activities all come with everything you need for that activity so this is our teacher gift. It's the Annie, Annie B's Kettle Corn Chef Driven Small Batch Confections. And it's made with love in the north. So let's see where in the north it is made. It is made in St. Paul, Minnesota. So very nice. Um, I don't like kettle corn as much as the regular popcorn. But I love popcorn and I will definitely munch on that. The book that all the activities kind of go around this month is Elephant and Piggy, the thank you book. Um, these, this is by Mo Williams and the Elephant and Piggy are just the greatest little um, friends and characters. I really do like this book. So, um, you know, it's a fun one to read. I've read it to two-year-olds. I've read it to other kids a little bit older. Everybody loves this book and these characters. Um, we have some blue finger paints. So that has something to do with one of the projects in here. We have some natural craft sticks. We have some blue markers. I like that blue. Some wiggly googly eyes. A whole thing of compound words dominoes. So they really kind of have to match it. So they've got a hot and a dog and they have to match it for hot dog. A frog and a or I can't read upside down. I read it as frog. It's air and a port for air port. I read port as frog. So I can't read upside down, but it's pretty cool. Um, my kids will like that. It says for five and up, I have four year olds, but um, like one of them is like jelly and beans. So, you know, it's basically matching the pictures. And that's really nice. Okay, let's see. These were, let's see, all the paperwork. They give you lots and lots of paperwork that comes in here. So let's see what everything's for. We, oh, and we also have some board markers that are in the shape of leaves. So here we have, it always comes with a what's in your box and the theme of the box. The theme of this month's box is a thank you box. And in it, you will find elephant and piggy thank you book, literacy, math, and science activity pages, which we'll go um, through soon, the literacy dominoes, the fall leaves tiles that are in the shape of leaves, craft sticks, blue pigeon paint, googly eyes and blue paper circles with the teacher gift being kettle corn. Then it tells you on the very bottom that you will get a teacher gift next, next month and what the theme is. So you can tell by this, the theme next month is going to be gingerbread. 
and it looks like we will be getting some letters. I'm not sure. The gingerbread book and lip gloss in the shape of a pencil. Interesting, interesting gift for a gingerbread box because it's not even gingerbread flavored. It says lemonade, I think, and that, that's really odd, but it's there. Um, I can keep this box or stop now. I think I will keep it and end probably next month. And then we have um, different things. We have a reading response, thank you letter, so they can write a thank you letter. I already have our reading and response for um, this month. And we're using the book from last year's uh, called The Fall Ball. But um, that's a really nice one. The names and pigeon pointers. Uh, says write or have the students write their name uh, on the top of the letter find paper. Oh, so it has letters. Use the craft sticks, paint, blue circles, and googly eyes and blue circles to create pigeon pointers that they can use to find the letters in their name. That's kind of cute. Okay. We also, we also have the Fall leaves map, so we can use those for fall leaves. Color and count leaf counting, that is pretty cool. Leaf investigations, um, my leaf is small, medium, or big. My leaf looks like, my leaf has the color and they can write the color. I like my leaf because we already talked about leaves, but uh, we can always fit those in if I can. So this one says, help the pigeon find the letters in their name. They have to write their name and color the letters in the box below so they can find their name all on there. And that's where they write their name. I have a very young class that's still learning to write names. So some of them do really well and some of them are still working on it. So. That might be helpful for them. Color some of the leaves on the tree red, some yellow, and some orange. Then count each color of leaf. Record it in the space below. So you're going to write the number on the leaf on this side. Very nice. I like that they have to write the number because that helps with um, learning their numbers. So that's really good. So this is where we're talking about the leaf observations. We have that whole paper. I like my leaf because so they're gonna have to find a leaf. That I I do like that. So well, I have um, a science experiment too with leaves that I would like to do. And then we have these. This looks kind of cool. Learn what that is in just a minute. I don't think I I know what that is and. There's quite a, or maybe I do. Well, there's a lot of paper here. All right. Oh, maybe this is where you put the leaves in the paper. There's your numbered leaves. And so, that's helpful. They always have a pink, uh, pink piece of paper at the very end. And here is your reading response which is dear and thank you they learned how to write and then on the back they can mail that letter so that's a good encouragement um in writing and writing what they think and pretending to mail it so maybe we'll have to have a pretend mail station too that is very very nice i do really like that um, as I said, it comes with all of this, and the reading and the response usually comes with enough sheets that they will be able to find um, for one for each student, and then the others I could just uh, do as I come as I want, put it under the computer. So these are really exciting um, to get all of this and use it in my classroom. I think the kids are really going to like this. Um, I may not use it, uh, I will use the leaf, um, 
prints this this month but I may not use the book um, the writings things until later on in the year when um, they're writing better and when when also as I see it, we are going to be doing um, talking about leaves and with the seasonal change come probably March or April. So I could add that uh, some of that also in um, then too. And this is a really pretty blue. It almost looks like it would be good for sky blue as well. So if you would like to learn more about this, if you're a teacher or if you know someone who's teaching, the box costs about $40 a month. And you can always go on to kindergartencrate.com and explore the box a little bit more um, and see what other boxes are. I also have had um, many videos on Kindergarten Crate that you can go back through and um, look at them to see what kinds of things have I received in my Kindergarten Crate boxes. This is my second to last one. My last one will be next month's box. So. Um, Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this box. Um, I look forward to maybe showing you a different box in the coming months. But um, yeah, this is a wonderful box. So if you know any about teachers, let them know about this box. And um, let them know that I say it's a wonderful box and they should check it out. You can't hurt to check it out. Anyway, have a nice day. Bye.